Hi there, this is Zach Price from the Class B team at Tiffin Motorhomes. I'm gonna walk you through one of the brand new 2025 GH1s here at Vaught RV Group, Tiffin of DFW. Starting up front, we're gonna have the all new 2025 Mercedes 2500 Sprinter chassis. On the hood, you'll see this 3M diamond shield plating. That way, that it avoids any sun reflection and then helps prevent any of those long-term rock chips. You're also gonna have the Onboard air compressor, you've got a chuck in the front, you've got one in the back as well. That will give you up to 100 PSI. And then you can see up top this really nice low pro roof rack. So this is gonna be newer to the 2025 models. It's got that really nice long one piece light bar on it. Going along the sides here, one of the things at Tiffin we do standard is we actually paint all of these bottom rails here on the 25 Sprinter chassis to give it that really nice and elegant look but then also to provide that longevity of the product as well. Going into the suspension, we have the 2.0 shock in the front and we have the two and a half shock on the back with the anti-shear sway bar. That's gonna help with this kind of taller unit. It's a little bit taller than the rest of them in the industry. This is about 14 inches of overall ground clearance. But if you're driving this thing, it's not gonna feel like it's really top heavy, especially if you're going around a curb. As we jump on the inside here, we have a premium Mercedes chassis, so you're gonna have the power seats, you're also gonna have the heated seats. And then the other really nice feature in there is you go just to the left of the steering wheel, you're gonna have a battery merge system. That's gonna merge your chassis battery and it's also gonna merge your house battery together. One of the best parts about that battery merge chassis is it's gonna help jumpstart your unit. If it's a dead unit and you need something to get it going, you can use the chassis battery to help your house battery get going. Next thing we'll talk about here is this brand new, fully welded aluminum ladder. It's got 400 pound capacity, so it's incredibly durable and robust to make sure if you're gonna get up there and use the roof rack with any additional storage or get up there, check the seals, check the AC, anything like that, we want you to feel safe. You've got the four and a half cassette toilet, similar to what you see in the rest of the Class B space. Down here is gonna be the um, exhaust for your AquaHot system. So the AquaHot system is a great product that we use for heating of the unit as well as your hot water exchange. We'll come to the back back here. One of the other really nice things about this chassis that we use is it's got a 360 degree camera. So up top, you, whether you're backing up or whether you're going forward, that will be on at all times as long as you're under 10 miles an hour, which makes this 19 foot unit a lot easier to drive. In here is your battery disconnect. You're also gonna have your tank heaters for both your fresh water tank as well as your gray tank. And then you're gonna have your battery heater switch here. Those will not automatically kick on on the 2025s unless these switches are engaged. So make sure you turn those on if you're in the colder temperatures. But the nice part about it is when they are switched on, then they will automatically kick on. So once they reach the temperature of 35 degrees, they will then kick on and take it up to 45 degrees to make sure that your fresh water tank doesn't go out as well as your batteries. I'm gonna jump in here. So this is where your battery system is gonna be located. We've got the 3000 watt Victron inverter, a great system. And then we've got the two Battleborn batteries from Dragonfly. These lithium batteries are tried, tested, and true in the industry. And a lot of people say that they're the best out there. We're gonna have more videos coming out from Tiffin Motorhomes with the Dragonfly and Battleborn team here in the near future. But it's a really great setup and if you want to have a third battery installed and get yourself from 570 amp hours to 810 amp hours with your third max power option. It's an easy plug and play system. So over here, you can see we've got your standard water fill system for your city water. We've got a 26 gallon fresh water tank on all the Tiffin GH1s. The nice part about it is, is if we pan outside here behind the right rear quarter panel, you've also got an exterior water fill. So if you've ever had issues where you're in a different kind of climate, if you look at this little white spot here, that's for your city water fill. So that way you can keep those back doors closed, especially if you've got gear, if you've got some of your personal belongings, you can fill from the outside and not have to worry about any water getting in the back of your unit. Last two things back here, we've got the Euroloft bed that will drop and raise with a push of a button. Super simple system, it's actually really nice. That way if you've got mountain bikes or some of your other stuff, you can just raise and lower it if you need. But then you also don't have to make and change your bed every time you wanna get back through this back area 
or the garage area. Last thing, lawn seal floor. This is a great, it's a marine grade product. It's got the coin base rubber uh, vinyl top to it. We've also got these two L tracks for you to make sure that all your gear is stay safe and stable. The other thing, all of the Tiffin GH1s are gonna have that 5,000 pound towing capacity for any of your extra vehicles. So we'll go around here to the side. I want to talk about the premium Gerard awning that we have on all the Tiffin GH1s as well. So this is going to be a really, really nice awning. Simple one-touch system. As soon as you touch it, whether you want it in, out, it will go. It also has a stop function. So if you want to go about halfway out, it also has a wind sensor. So if you get gusts of 30 miles an hour plus wind, it will automatically begin to close. And it also has that start feature. So if someone forgets to shut it uh, and you start the vehicle and start to move, it'll automatically pull in as well. Got this really nice LED light. Over here, you're gonna have this multi-use, multi-function table. So the great part about this is, is that it's gonna be able to level depending on what your grade is of where your unit's parked. Plus, we also have a few little Easter eggs here. You've got the really nice Tiffin T off-road logo. But then this table is actually held on instead of latches. There's a magnet on the inside of this cabinet here. So super simple. We wanna make sure every, everything and everybody is safe. We've also got these really nice running boards that are gonna be heavy duty, and then a really nice LED lighting feature on the inside there. That way it gives a little bit of a unique glow to the unit at night as you turn them on. Three cubic foot refrigerator on the inside here with a really nice dry erase whiteboard on the front. That way if you wanna leave notes for anybody, you can. Then we added this really nice drawer that adds as kind of a countertop extension, but it's got a solid surface to it. But it's also the home for the induction cooktop. And if you want to bring that out and put it on this little table right here, you can if you want to do some cooking outside. Don't be afraid to be a little tough on it, especially with that induction cooktop. It can get a little heavy. Going into the unit here, we've got the jump seats, right? These are the really nice jump seats that swivel out and then they go forward and backwards. That way, if you have partner, if you have people with you, especially the little ones, you can kind of get some separation from them, one another. Also a couple of really nice features. We've got a really, really great engineering team. Does a lot of work on the GH1s. We added a little towel rod here. That way if you wanna separate yourself or close off this front space from the back area, especially if you're changing, or if you've got towels that you wanna dry out, gear, anything like that, really nice little feature here. All your Starlink is gonna be up in this corner. You've got a little simple on and off switch. It says Wi-Fi, but think of that as your on off switch. So any power going there, you'll have the Wi-Fi on, but all your Starlink gear is gonna be in this corner here. Simple, easy, in one spot. All the overhead cabinets in the GH1 are gonna be the aluminum framed, and then they're also gonna have that Rhino line to them. So it gives it that longevity to the product. And then everything's gonna have this really nice carpet trim on the inside, as well as 110 outlets. And then the simple, easy close. So above the jump seats and above the adventure bar, we're gonna have our Tiffin control panel. So this is gonna be where all your interior lights and stuff are, your one touch Euro loft bed system, as well as the aqua hot, which is gonna be for your hot water heater. And then you're gonna have your battery control panel. You're gonna have your solar panel as well as your fresh water and your uh, gray tank. So from here, we're gonna go into the galley area, really nice solid surface galley top with a stainless steel sink. And then storage is a really big part in all the units. So we've got these really nice hardwood drawers with the easy slide, self-closing slide mechanisms. And then for our shorter legged friends, we're gonna have this really nice step up that helps narrow the gap from the floor to your Euroloft bed. We've got a couple different features here in the shower area. We're gonna have this really nice closet rod that goes across for any of your hang clothes, as well as these kickouts for some shelves. That way, if you've got anything that you actually wanna have stored here, it just provides that additional storage. The other really nice feature to our shower is we've got the Aquamizer system. It's a really cool feature that doesn't waste, that doesn't let you waste any of your fresh water. It starts out as a blue color, and then once your water gets up to a certain temperature, it'll turn purple. You press it, and then that releases the water at the temperature that you want it to be at. So lastly, I wanna talk about the GH1 air conditioning. This is gonna be the GRI AC, really nice feature from the commercial space and now in the motorized. This thing is whisper quiet. So as it comes on here, I'll turn it up into the turbo speed so you can hear how quiet it is, but it's got a variable power draw. So it only draws as much as it needs, saving on that battery power and electricity. That's turbo speed and that's how loud it is. So it doesn't sound like you have that generator that's gonna be above you. Thanks for walking around the 2025 Tiffin GH1 
Really excited to have the product out there for you guys. If you have any questions, reach out to us at tiffinmotorhomes.com or vaRV, Tiffin of DFW, and we'll see you down the road.